Welcome to this demonstration entitled Thermal Mixer Fluid Flow and Design Point Analysis in AIM. In this demonstration we're going to import a thermal mixer solid model, generate a fluid region, then mesh, set up, solve, and post-process the model, then set up a design point analysis in ANSYS AIM. The boundary conditions are as follows. There will be a cold water inlet with a velocity of 0.1 meters per second and an inlet temperature of 30 degrees C here on the left side. There's also a hot water inlet on the top here at inlet velocity of half a meter a second with an inlet temperature of 80 degrees C. And on the right there is a outlet boundary condition at zero pascals gauge outlet pressure. So we have launched the AIM interface and the first thing we're going to do is uh, click on this fluid flow simulation process template to get a fluid flow study going. Uh, the default here is to import an existing geometry, which is where, what we're going to do. So then we click here on Create Simulation Process. And this is the solid model of the thermal mixer that we're going to import. And here's the model of the thermal mixer. We rotate it a little bit. You can see there's a series of baffles inside to uh, enhance the mixing. So the first thing we're going to do is um, extract a fluid volume from the solid model. So we click here on geometry and then edit geometry. And here is the solid model of the mixer in the space claim interface. So to extract the fluid model, we click here on prepare and volume extract. And we have to select the surfaces that enclose the region. So that would be the two inlets and the outlet. So that's one of the inlets. This is the outlet. And we rotate and this is the third face and now we have to select an interior face for the fluid region we'll select that face click the check mark here and now the fluid volume has been created what we're going to do since we're only going to be doing a CFD analysis we unclick on volume one which is the um, solid model of the thermal mixer and that hides it or suppresses it so that it does not feature in our CFD analysis. So we close the model editor. And now you can see back in AIM that the only model that we have left now is the fluid model. Now we go to the next step in the workflow, which is mesh. And you can see this red symbol here that attention is required. We look at this red triangle with an exclamation mark that tells us what object requires attention. Click on the mesh controls and you can see that the inflation layers need to be defined. Now in this particular geometry it is very very difficult to get a well-behaved mesh uh, with inflation layers due to the shape of the baffles. So in this case we're just going to delete the uh, inflation layer. And now we're going to increase the mesh resolution a little bit. Go to global sizing and make the size function uh, curvature and proximity instead of curvature. And now we mesh. Now the mesh is complete. So let's look at some mesh statistics. So it's about 466,000 elements. And let's look at some mesh metrics. Let's add mesh diagnostics. So the location would be the entire fluid volume, and the metric would be skewness. And you can see that the maximum value of the skewness here is 0.84555, and that is a very good quality mesh. So now we can proceed to the next item in our workflow, and that is physics. And again, we can see that attention is required. So let's look at the physics regions, and we have um, that the single fluid volume. Now we also want to check off um, thermal uh, here for physics types because we're also going to be modeling the heat transfer um, between uh, the hot and uh, cold water coming in. You're looking at more physics modeling. Then we have to change the material from air to water. And we're going to have constant property water. Now let's go to the next step. And 
now let's add some boundary conditions. So that is an inlet that is the cold water inlet. So let's add fluid flow conditions, make that an inlet. Okay, that velocity is 0.1 meters per second. And the temperature is 30 degrees C. Okay, now this is our hot water inlet. So let's add fluid flow conditions inlet. Okay, that velocity magnitude is 0.5 meters per second. And that temperature is 80 degrees C. Okay. Now let's define the outlet. So add fluid flow conditions outlet. Now we're just going to define the outlet pressure as zero gauge static pressure. Okay, so under fluid flow conditions, we're going to add a wall. And AIM automatically adds all undefined surfaces uh, or surfaces that uh, are not inlets and outlets that have not been defined as inlets and outlets, makes those automatically a wall. So now we're ready to solve the physics, but let's quickly look at our solver options. So here under solution controls, going to make the maximum number of iterations 400. Going to go back to physics, and then we're going to solve. You can look at the solution monitors here. So now you can see here that the solution has started. So now you can see the solution has converged. All residuals are below 1e e to the minus 5. So now let's do some post-processing by going to results here. And let's evaluate the results. There's a default object here that is always calculated first. And it is a vector, vector plot. Change the appearance a little bit. Okay, now let's add some other results. Let's add some streamlines. Let's seed it at the hot water inlet and evaluate. And there are the flow streamline. Now let's display temperature contours in a cut plane. So add another result, contour. Click here on contour 1. Let's create a location. This default plane location and orientation is correct. Click on next step. Contour 1. And let's have the variable here be temperature and evaluate. And there you can see the temperature contours. You can show the mesh and toggle that off. Now let's add a calculated value. Let's say we want to find out what the average temperature is at the outlet. Back to results. Right mouse click, add results, calculated value. Using the function calculator on that face, the function is average and the variable is temperature. Now evaluate. And there we have that the average value at the average temperature at the outlet is 35.565 degrees C. Now let's say that you want to do a design point study where you change the hot water temperature and you want to find out what the average outlet temperature is. So first you would turn the calculated value to a parameter like so. And you go back to the simulation process, go back to physics, fluid flow conditions, inlet 2, and you turn that 80 degree temperature into a parameter.
Now you go here to Design Points Dashboard, click on that. And here you see that for the inlet to temperature of 80 degrees C, the calculated value is 308.71 in Kelvin. So now let's add some more inlet temperatures, 70, 60, 50, and 40. And clicking on Update All will solve for the four new hot water inlet temperatures. And now the design point study has been completed. You can see the results for the four additional runs with the different hot water inlet temperatures. This concludes our demonstration. Thank you so much for watching.